What's up, y'all? This is Obsidian Lotus L. I'm going to do something a little fun, a little different. I'm going to, and this is like, I don't really like do personal readings on myself. Like I'll just meditate and draw some cards sometimes, but I don't want to do like an actual spread because I feel like it's too easy to like manipulate the energy energy and trying to do a reading for myself. But I'm curious tonight. So I've been dealing with some crazy stuff a little bit. I don't want to get too much in my personal information or personal business, but I've already dealt with, um, since I've had uh, my channel, some bullshit. Um, and that like I was trying to really figure out and fi figuring out like where the energy was coming from now um, Like in a timeline kind of scheme of things like I came up with a few different answers, right? Um, with other factors played in um, And so today on my way home I in the neighborhood I lived in which I know this one we would not be driving in in this neighborhood because um I don't live in a horrible neighborhood but it's not the best neighborhood in, in the town that I live in and I know which neighborhood she lives in because I used to work for this woman and she's wealthy um and so I think it's interesting that she was down the street from where I live especially with some of the circumstances that are going on in my life right now. So I um, would like to do a spread concerning this energy and why um, someone was seen in my neighborhood. All right, so in the hood, basically. So this spread is gonna be called, why was that bitch in the hood, right? Let's get it cracking. Spirit, angels, ancestors, please provide us with any messages for uh, me, L, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. And anybody else wanting uh, the collective of Scorpio, um, why that bitch in the hood? <laughs> All right. All right, so the overall energy of the reading is the Eight of Cups energy, water energy. This is leaving a situation, all right, taking a new beginning. Scorpio, I feel like this is your energy, okay? Not to mention maybe mine, right? <laughs> um, but the energy of abandoning um, something that left you feeling really heartbroken basically and um starting a new chapter in your life and a new beginning um this is the king of cups water energy okay um and then behind your new beginning there's still a lot of magic manipulation all right this is underhanded bullshit still going on um this is you and your power though, okay? Staying calm through the storm, all the things that are going on right now or have been going on, um, especially, um, I feel like the more you got hit with shit, the stronger it made you, okay? And the more calm you have been through the next wave of shit, basically, right? So the Ace of Wands here to me, um, is following what makes you happy, um, what you feel passionate about, um, 
the fire within, right? And it's almost like the wisdom too, this knowledge here, because I like the way the flame is right in the middle of like the, um, where the third eye chakra is too. It's kind of like where that, that, um, I feel like it's just basically letting like your love, your light kind of guide the way in the situation for you so far. There's an energy of being like in the queen bee energy, right? Queen bitch wanting the truth, not wanting to put up with any shit. Air energy. You could be wanting the truth from an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, but also the energy of losing a lot of sweet sleeps, sweeps. This person, this air sign could be losing a lot of sleep over the truth. This person could be losing a lot of sleep over you knowing the truth. Um, there's an energy of money news coming in, though, um, in regards to the truth. There's an energy of somebody being nostalgic of the past. This could be you, Scorpio. I feel like it's the energy of thinking about your past and past... Um, it's like a, a time that you were happier in. A time before some, some bad things happened, right? A time before you felt like you had to abandon everything in your life and start all over again from zero and, and literally, right? So I feel like sometimes you have moments where you look back and even though you're super grateful for everything that you have right now, even if it's not much, right? Um, you look back on these times before some other stuff happened and um, are nostalgic, right? Or maybe miss certain things, miss certain experiences maybe you had with your child um, or just different things of that nature. Um, it can also be remembering times that you had as a child. Um, right after that, we have the Five of Swords energy, Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is theft, betrayal, dishonesty. Thir three of Wands is expansion. So um, theft, betrayal, and dishonesty with more than one person here. And next to that, we have the karmic energy. And I think it's interesting the way that these cards are laid out. Um, there's a woman with her hand out right next to it, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy doesn't have to be a fire sign, but it's just the energy of the card. Karmic, a lot of times karmics are the queen of wands for whatever reason, karmic people situation. So this is a karmic toxic energy expanding with this other energy, um, working together basically. And, um, some way, shape, or form um, with theft, betrayal, dishonesty here. We have the Four of Cups, and I feel like when it's all said and done, or has been, there's a, a level of someone not feeling satisfied um, or being surprised with the outcome. And I don't think it looks good um, because she doesn't look happy. So... The Page of Wands speaks of a message. This could be a message of somebody passing away, an air sign or fire sign. Um, or a message from an air or a fire sign. What is this um, page of wands and swords energy? Two of cups, soulmate relationship. Um, you're gonna get a message from somebody that um, you've been in a romantic relationship with Scorpio or a soulmate. Water, air, fire, let's see. What is this two of cups energy? In regards to a message with the Four of Swords, the Sun, Leo,
So there's something from a past lover. You're going to get a message about something regarding this situation currently. So a past lover is connected to this shit somehow, Scorpio. And you're going to get a message from this person. Okay, let's see. They're just waiting to make a decision. They're waiting. They've been waiting. Maybe waiting on trying to figure out how they even address the situation. How to talk to you. Okay, two of wands energy. High priestess here. I feel like their intuition is kind of like letting them know that like they kind of need to, right? At this point, like... Or this is you following your intuition about the whole entire thing, right? So let's get into, what was this energy of the woman in my neighborhood? The need for stability, greed here just flew out before I could even finish what I was saying. And I already know that about that woman, but greedy, the need for stability, holding on to that purse like her fucking life depends on it, right? All right, let's see. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Um, what else can we have? What help me clarify this four of pentacles on that and the magician in reverse. So whatever manipulation magic that was being done has potentially been reversed or is not working anymore. And I just saw 1144. So it's got this person and this energy. Whatever that um, energy is, I guess apparently it makes you stalk people. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, the Ace of Cups, a new relationship. New relationship, a new baby. Well, she's a little old to be having a baby. So I feel like the, the need for a new relationship Maybe this person wants to mend a relationship. Maybe she's dating somebody in my neighborhood. I think she's married though, but okay. <laughs> Just curious, God. I don't know. I'm a little nosy here trying to figure it out with the cards and shit, but all right. I'm going to die if I actually even put this on YouTube, but I might. Okay. Like feeling left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles here. Uh, maybe this person feels left out in the cold over some money in a relationship. Um, but whatever's going on there, I don't know. Hopefully it was just to drive by. Um, the Eight of Pentacles. This is basically hard work and patience paying off for you, Scorpio. Now see how she's lit in the candle here um, to protect herself and her hard work. Maybe that's what this is over here. Something was reversed. Okay. Maybe that's what that means. I don't know. Right? So... Um, maybe energetically it was just sent back to sender, right? I don't know. Um, what is the best outcome and final, um, best advice and final outcome for Scorpio? Nine of Cups, wish is coming true. Your hard work's going to pay off. This is you and your abundance, okay? Like, learning um, really just to be okay with yourself and, and life and kind of rolling with the punches like you already have, right? Trusting your intuition, putting in the hard work, um, not letting yourself get defeated. <laughs> Making bitches feel like they got to grab their pocketbook like that. I don't know. <laughs> on Scorpio. Let's see. Total transformation. Death and transformation. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. There's a slow moving knight coming towards you. Um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So after this total transformation, okay, um, I feel like Scorpio, um, you know, this is the slowest moving night on the deck, but you do have a love offer coming into you on top of that from could be a younger earth sign doesn't have to be earth. It's just the energy younger, immature energy or not immature. Just not at like, what is the right way to put it? Like you're not like a new newer. Okay. You don't know this person that well. 
so immature in that since there's no like foundation of anything built yet between you and this person. It's just an admirer, um, possibly that has a little bit of change because he's dropping coins and shit. <laughs> right. So, I mean, there's that. I don't know. We're not going to get anything else other than this situation. It's had you feeling a little full of anxiety, but it hasn't really taken you out of the energy of being fruitful when it comes to abundance and ideas um, about money and um, living your life, right? Um, going in hermit mode and really like learning to trust the light within has become important for you. And you've left all these past burdens concerning theft, betrayal, dishonesty with friends um, behind and now you have new love coming in and fuck what everybody else says right because this is just spying and talking about you and all that other bullshit that doesn't fucking matter right that's going to be it for you Scorpio <laughs> love ya bye